know, we were just saying Chino does better with back boots. We like to have back boots on him. How do you feel? He tripped. Oh, you don't trip. And a little face. Yeah, so. The same thing. It's just going to be a long, longer reign. Not as long as Chino, because Chino's neck is. Long. long, yeah. So Brennan's long, just saying, uh, like, how much Sophie's going to be able to learn on Chino. Like, she can ride Chino on a longer rein because Chino listens to her. And not that Finn is bad. I know it's all Sophie is learning and struggling. Finn is just a horse. I understand that. But she's going to be able to learn how to ride on a looser rein with Chino because Chino will allow it, and she can figure that out easier. Using the bend, Sophie, right? Heel down, reach for the heel. Way down, hands closed. So you guys should also know that Sophie just dropped her stirrups. Two holes, two holes, you see? Two holes, she dropped her stirrups, two holes. That's so exciting, like, already I can see her position getting better. The first ride on Chino was like the figuring it out ride, and this ride, she, we're making changes, always making changes, guys. Treble, <laughs> treble in the hood. Big circle around here, okay? Big circle, lots of walking. Yeah. Keep the back, nose to the inside. Soften the outside rein a little bit and get your leg on, right? Baby, I shouldn't call you or leave a message at all. So I try to be patient, cause nothing's written on the wall. So, lots of changes. That I want your attention. This time it is for real. Oh, baby, love me like you did last night. I want to hold you till the morning comes. Circles and bending. That's all this is. Brandon said, like, just a lot of, a lot of circles, a lot of bending. Holding all the tension into his withers, right? And you can drop the head, and you can then push forward, outside leg, outside leg. Good, and then jump your third. One thing my kids do well is make excuses. <laughs> I taught them so good. Pushing forward, Sophie. Pushing forward. Pushing forward. Oh, baby, love me like you did last night. I want to hold you till the morning comes. Oh, baby, love me like you did. Love me like you did. Oh, baby, kiss me till I see the light. Like you did. Yeah, he's good over the flower boxes now. He's like, I don't care about those. He doesn't want to leave. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave? No, he's like, my friends are in here. I want to I want to continue riding. I, I'm not leaving. I'm sorry, but I'm not leaving. Sometimes I have to like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Chino never wants to leave. So Sophie was able to practice some like what, trot. On Chino, she didn't canter today. Brandon's like working on different things with her and him, and so I'm just following that. Yeah, Gabby turns her whole hips and everything. Uh, I keep 
forward, so mid, so bring right, stay in a nice balanced circle. Opening that inside ring, use that inside leg, right? Yeah, we love your new stirrups. They're adorable. Now my initials. Yeah, we know. We said that. You have they're your initials. No, we can steal them now. Nope. Good. Just hold the outside leg and just keep them forward. Okay. They all forget how to ride. Like the first, the first day back to riding is always just a disaster for us. Like, have you ever like just ridden and just been or done anything and just been like out of whack? Like out of it, like you, like even when I'm vlogging sometimes, sometimes I can't get in the groove. Sometimes I can't get in the groove, like, you know? My whole life. Yeah, Brandon's whole life. Good, Gabby. Okay, and then again, just half all, but then soften the knee, don't pinch so much. Close your toes, reach down, sit tall, and then put them back forward. You only make you feel like you could never leave. Do the same, we can't go back, this is all we need. Follow me to make believe and make your dreams come true. This night means forever, and so does me. We say we love, we say we love. That could be a little bit fresh, it is fine with two degrees out. It's going down to minus 19. Wow, it's going down to minus 19. So, yeah, there we go. Good. Much better than stopping the rain. So Brandon says like the horses all had five days off. With the thunder with the snowstorm. Finn, stop pooping. Inside Sophie, inside. I don't care if it's just a little walk try and still be out. Get your riding back in the Yeah. So this is it. Like if all we do is walk trot today, that's all we do. We get out of the groove and we have to remember how to ride again. We just do whatever we have to do. Each each if you want to reach down, really hurt. We gave it all, we gave it all. We say we love, we say we love. But we were just interesting until something better came along. Right shoulder back. Right shoulder back more. Back more. 
Left shoulder, I want you to literally pick that up. Yeah. Keep practicing. Inside leg and then body in. Body in. Bring that body in. There. Wow. There's a lesson in everything, and even if you have to take like four steps forward and then go back a day. Where's that pony snow, Sophie? Like, look at how she sits on him totally different, eh? Yeah. Like, she just leans forward. Lift tall, Sophie. Shoulders back. But on Chino, she's able to lift up. How come? Because the horse is not built downhill. Oh, I see. So it's like, um, so it's like you, that other horse that you have there. What's his name? Buddy? Yeah, he's very down. Yeah, so it's similar to that. Oh, okay. That makes sense to me. I understand that. So the reason that she... Good, Gabby. That's okay. You need to encourage a little thin trot. Good boy. Inside and just reaching forward. Good. Inside. Shoulder. Yeah, shoulder. Keep thinking shoulder. Yeah, she needs to see a chiropractor. Good boy. Good. There we go. Much up nicer. Good. Keep going. And that is hold again, okay? So I want us to encourage this. Just keep pressing forward. A lot of thinking. Good, Sophie. I want your hands to be where? Where are those eyes? Where's that body? You take away. That only knows where. Good, Gabby. Okay. Oh my God, you touched the flower. <laughs> you touched it. You touched the flower. Good boy. It's really not that bad. Good. Yeah, Finn's had like how many days off? When's the last time Gabby wrote him? Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. purple. Then touch them. And he's like just all happy. Oh, he touched the white one too. Good boy, Ben. Lord, do you ever think the day would come that he would actually touch the flower? He's going to have a walk right here. Yes, I did believe in him. When he reaches down, soften your, your rain aids, okay? So take that outside rain. Soften a little bit. Inside Ben. Do not let his nose pop to the outside. Good boy, Ben. Rub his neck. Oh, he's itching that outside. So this is what I mean. This is everything you learn from Chino. You have to actually try and apply pressure, okay? You have to try to put that inside leg on. Good boy, Ben. Good, open that. Where's your That's heel? funny, I do that too. Because you taught it to me. Inside, inside, inside leg. Push them over. Not using your brain, so I don't care if you make this circle small. Look how happy he is. Why? I don't know. Oh, that's not good. They, they do that randomly. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, my eyes burn sometimes too. So you want that much pressure, okay? So my hand is going to put that much pressure to get that point. Wow, see that? So keep this inside back. Keep this inside back. You have to keep putting pressure. So that he's going to want to listen. See, he wants to pull into it, right? You want to lean into the front. No, lean inside. Here, then. Of course, then. Yeah. And then keep first putting the front. Then, more. More, Sophie, more. Eyes up, keep the bend. Keep the bend. Finger close. Finger close. Keep pressing that inside. Inside, and then off. Inside, and then off. Keep going around. This is what takes so long to get it to actually be this way is you're gonna have to find the happy medium of how much outside rain you take to support it and how much inside leg it takes to actually move him over, okay? So for a long time, you might only be stuck on this little tiny circle, so he wants to listen to that leg and push his body out so he can actually step up. So it takes a lot. Soften your, relax the right side. Good, keep that nose in. Keep that nose in. Good boy. Good. Keep pressing that inside leg so we think bigger circle. Ride till your body goes over. Your body speaks my language and you read me like a book. This night means forever and so is me and you. Sophie, keep 
Keep making that ring bigger. Keep practicing, that's okay. I know your go-to is grab that outside rein and make his nose come in, but it's not. It's put that inside leg on and get him to actually bend and step underneath himself. I think this, like, like Finn, Gray Finn has been the most relaxed ever in this lesson. And Sophie's having like a massive breakthrough with, with Goldfin. His name is Goldfin. With Goldfin. And I think they just needed this step back. Like sometimes it feels like you're not doing much and sometimes not doing much is what your horse needs. And I think it's okay to do that. Like I feel like there's so much pressure when you go for a lesson, like you want to do this and you want to do that. But sometimes you just need to take a step back. And that was today, you guys. And I'm proud of my girls and I'm proud of our coach for recognizing that that's what needed to happen today. A refresher, crazy, ooh, look at him. Yes, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?